morning guys uh, so we are just on our way to Denny's uh, which is next door to our hotel we're gonna be having breakfast there <coughs> um, we was planning to do Volcano Bay today but I think we're gonna give that a miss um, it's a bit our, my head's still sore and Charlie's back is still sore as well um, so I think we're gonna give that a miss um, so yeah so we're just gonna go breakfast um, we do get 20% off in the eat and play card in Denny's, so uh, we're going to take advantage of that. I think the, the plan for today is that we're going to go to the Posma Park, is it? Yeah, yeah Posma Park, uh, which is on the I-4 near uh, Championship yeah, Gate. Rabbit. Yeah, I think we're going well, to go to Posma Park because there's a pet smart shop there, which we went to in December to get some stuff for the dog. Um, there's a better super target there that we we want to go to. There's also the Marshalls there, which was good last time. Uh, and then I think we're going to go to the Lake Buena Vista outlets. Oh, yeah, get some lunch somewhere after that. And then go to the Lake Buena Vista outlet. Okay, so we've just got our food at Denny's. Um, Paige went for make your own breakfast, so it came with three pancakes, scrambled eggs, and bacon. Uh, me and Charlie shared this, uh, which is the Grand Slam. We did ask for something else, but we got something completely different. Um, we also ordered a side, side of pancakes for $2 extra, and um, we've just saying to ourselves how much food we've got here. Um, Teddy has had one of Paige's pancakes, and we also ordered a fresh bowl of fruit, which is here. This was like bulging out up to the top that was 98 cents okay so we're just gonna head back to the room now just to get a few stuff and then we're gonna head to Posma Park which is just on the I-4 past championship gate um, Paige wants to go in five below uh, we're gonna go in Marshalls as I mentioned and then go in the super target there as well which is good um, so yeah we'll catch you when we're there Okay, so we're just outside by our pool. Um, Charlie's just on the phone to her nan at the moment. As I mentioned before, the Wi-Fi is terrible in the rooms. Um, it just disconnects near enough every few minutes and it's, it's a nightmare. So we're just standing by the pool while Charlie does that. And um, if you're coming to this hotel, three foot and then Yeah, four, three and I mentioned it before, nine. but this section here is three foot, then it goes four foot six. And it goes five foot I six along the, the line. I stay in the foot. Yeah, Paige stays three. in the three. Uh, and then it goes down all the way down to a nine foot, which is very, very deep. Um, yeah, that's, that's, go. that's quite deep for a pool that I've seen. They do offer you free towels here as well. There's a lot of sun loungers here as well. Um, the only problem I would say with this pool is there's not much shade. Um, you got all towels in there where you can return them so you don't need to bring the towels with you but yeah there's, you've got a few umbrellas here but you... most of the sun beds are there's no shade really to be honest and so and if you have like a baby like yeah we'll show you so over here in this section here there's a toddler pool for an infant which is again it's only one foot six so that's good for them um, they're quite warm these pools as well so not too bad where this is our room just here where my finger is here at the bottom so we're quite close to the pool and everything this towel block behind us here um, if you are staying at this hotel I would try and send them a message to try and get a lower a lower room um, try and get one of these rooms around here if possible in the tower block they don't have any lifts so if you're coming with a lot of cases and a lot of people like elderly people that can't get upstairs then you would need to try and get a lower floor to do that um, but we're going to leave here and we're going to head to Cosmo Park Yeah, so as Charlie just said there, um, if you want to come to sort of the five below Marshalls, come off of iDrive, 
because you'll be able to there's a, they're bigger shops and you get a lot more in them they're less busy as well so we, we are we're at Poznan Park now um, we just went in Marshalls which is equivalent to sort of TK Maxx at home uh, we're now just going into five below so we'll show you what this shop it has so we're just looking around in here everything in here is five dollars or less <laughs> charlie's got a pineapple <laughs> paige wants to get these so i don't have to hold my nose on the water yeah she wants some goggles the ones that we did buy that were three dollars they did what um, first and they did. not the best did they do the squish marlins in it oh yeah they're up here yeah. So we're looking at the squish marlows because Teddy loves Paige's one, so we're going to get him his own one. But they got loads of stuff here. They do have these five dollar t-shirts, t-shirts as well. We've seen the lodge guys come in here before uh, to get some of these. Can't really go wrong for a five dollars t-shirt, right? And they sell all socks in here as well. All hair stuff. Kind of remind you of the pan shop to be honest, but just a little bit more expensive. Teddy's having a look. These are the squish marlows. All these are in my pack. Are they? Except that one, that one. Go on, do you get in that? Penguin. They do have books and that here, pillows. some books in here as well and they've got some dog toys in there as well so toothpaste for dogs in here yeah yeah i'm coming on to that got wipes for dogs in here and toys but yeah, so this is five below, so we're going to go over to Target soon, so I'll show you around in there. Okay, so we just came out of five below. Paige managed to get some goggles, and Teddy got some Squishmallow, a Squishmallow, and then Teddy also got two Blippy toys. Which, can you show the Blippy toys? What did you get? Yeah. He got Blippy Digger, and he got a Blippy truck as well. Look. He loves Blippi. Uh, it seems to be getting quite big, Blippi. There's more stuff being coming in the UK as well. If you do have children, I would highly recommend searching for him on YouTube because he does have, um, he does teach the kids quite a lot actually. Um, and you can understand him clearly. And it's not like the Teddy Tubbies when I was back younger where I can't even understand what they're saying. Um, but Blippi is very good. He's an American. Um, I think he started a few years ago and he, um, he's got a lot a lot bigger and better um, but yeah so we're gonna head off over to Target now okay so we've just got over to Target or Super Target I think this one is um, this is in Posmouth Park retail park as well they've got a Target here Ashley's home store I think they've got a cinema, cinema as well and then just a bit further up this direction here we've got Best Buy we're going to look at going there a little bit later. We've got a Starbucks in here as well. I think most of the um, targets have Starbucks in. Um, we've got Staples just up there. And then a bit further up there, you've got the pet, pet shop up there. You've got body, Bath and Body Works as well.
So we've just stopped in Wendy's, uh, just in Championship Gate. So Championship Gate entrance is just there. Um, Paige has got the Baconator chips. Uh, yeah, chips. Um, so with that, you get chips, cheese, bacon. Uh, they're $3.79, I think it was. And now she's dropping it all over the place now. Put it on there. Um, Teddy got a kids nugget and chips Happy Meal sort of thing. Um, Paige got the drink for that one. Teddy's got his own, and Paige, Charlie's also got the same chips as well. Oh yeah, and then the, they've got the like the Coca Cola machine where you can pick your drinks, and they've got we've got cherry. Look at the size of that drink, like literally. Look at that. That is huge, and you can refill that. Um, yeah. Um, we got cherry vanilla in that, and then Paige has got orange Fanta. But they've got orange Fanta there, peach, grape, lime, fruit punch, absolutely anything. So yeah, we're just in here, and then from here we're going to head over to Lake Buena Vista Outlets. So we just filled up at the petrol garage. Um, the good thing in America is that you go, I think you can use the machine, but I never do. But you go inside, you tell them your pump and you tell them how much you want. And then they, you pay for it. And then they put that on the machine. So you can't go over that amount. Um, so we've put $30 in. We was at a quarter of a tank and it's gone up by sort of two bars. Um, so we've now got three quarters of a tank left. So the price has has increased. I think it's four dollars fifty now per gallon. Um, whereas in December when we came, it was two sixty. I think it was around that. So it's gone up by nearly two dollars um, in five months. So we're just going to leave here now and go to Lake Buena Vista Outlets. Okay, so we've just arrived at the. Lake Bruna Vista outlets, factory store outlets. Um, we had, yeah, we had Wendy's, which was really nice. Um, we're just gonna have a look around here. They've got Levi's, Gap, um, Calvin Klein, Nike. Hi everyone, so we've just came out of our room. Um, we got back probably a couple of hours ago. Uh, we stayed in the room for a little bit. Uh, we took the kids in the pool uh, for about half an hour, 45 minutes. We've just got ready now and then we're heading to Chili's. Uh, and then from there, depending on what the time is, we may go and look at the crocodiles uh, that are in the mini golfs along International Drive that you can actually feed. Um, if it's closer to six, then we're probably going to head straight to Universal. Yeah. We're going to try and go on to Rip Ride Rocket tonight. I, really go, uh, I don't care about that. I'm fine going on it now. I just really yeah. want to... We can't, we're not doing Velocicoaster. That's a sad part. Yeah, Paige likes to do Velocicoaster, but we're going to do Universal today. Well, for a couple of hours. Um, try and get that completed, because that's the one ride that we haven't done at the moment. There's Lizard Depot. Um, we do see all these little lizards running about which one scared the life out of Teddy earlier. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna head to the car. Um, once we get there, drive to Chili's, and then from there, we're gonna go to Universal. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're just in Chili's at the moment. I just wanted to show you guys that they have these machines here. If you click on allergy info, this will show, tell you all the allergies that are in every single item on the menu. So if you do have an allergy, then I'll be sure to come in here um, and look at this because this will show everything that you need to know about what's in it, even the sauces, it tells you about the sauces, so they've got soya in some of them. Um, but yeah, if you've, if anyone who's got allergies or anything, then I would highly recommend Chili's as a restaurant for this because you don't have to rely on the, the servers knowing what, what's in what. You can all see it here, which is quite good. Um, but we're from the from the meal menu, so for the kids, uh, we have gone for Paige has gone for the chicken cheese, uh, cheesy chicken pasta, 
We've had some mandarin oranges, which I'm gonna have those. Uh, and fresh pineapple. Paige has also gone for this fancy Blue Lagoon fizz drink. For Teddy, we have gone for the Kraft Mac and Cheese with the corn here as well. Uh, we didn't get Teddy a drink, but we may get it to take out. It comes with it. Um, Char, what did you go for? Uh, the chicken fajitas. Charlie's gone for the chicken fajitas. Yeah, so for me, I have gone for the um, smokehouse combo. So I had the crispy chicken tenders, um, crispy version. With the, what sauce did I get on mine? The honey chipotle. Honey chipotle sauce. And then I also got the smoked brisket quesadillas. Um, and that comes with chips, uh, bread, and corn on the cob as well. So we'll show you them when they come. So we've just got our food now. So Teddy's just tucking into a massive corn on the cob. <laughs> Teddy. Massive. <laughs> he had macaroni and cheese with corn on the cob. This is my smokehouse combo. Then you get chicken, garlic bread, quesadillas, corn on the cob and chips. Paige had chicken cheese pasta. She doesn't really like the cheese on it, but she's eating the chicken. And she got the fruit with it as well. And then Paige, Charlie got chicken fajitas, which you get all cheese, guacamole, and stuff there as well. All right, so we've just got into the car uh, after going in Chili's. Um, the food was very nice. Um, very good value for money, again. Um, the service was bad again. Similar to the BJ brew house that we had last night. I just don't think, I think a lot of people that we've been watching and on the Facebook groups that we're on, people have been saying that um, there's a shortage in people of like. It's um, not Oh, it is. Paige thinks they're too swabbly. No. Um, so we, yeah, the service wasn't the best. It just takes so long to get the bill and then we had a voucher and he didn't want to help us he didn't really want to help us but i think he i don't think he wanted to help but I think he, he was just rushed off his feet as well he was dealing with five six tables in the end um but yeah apart from that food was good i would recommend that probably for restaurant wise go off of international drive yeah i would say just because of um I think here it's just a bit, they're struggling a bit, I think, just due to COVID and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, so from here we're going to go to um, Universal. Universal now. After 6 pm, it is free parking. So it's now 10 to 6. So we'll catch you when we're there. Hi everyone, so we've just come to the Universal parking lot. So we're gonna go inside of Universal now. Um, we got free parking after six o'clock. So if you are planning to come here in the evenings and don't wanna be paying $27, then if you come after six, it is free parking. So that helps a lot. Um, we're gonna come here, we're gonna do Rip Ride Rocket with Paige. Be our first time, you excited? Hi. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not excited for the bit when you go up. She's not, she's not. Oh. I'm excited and not excited. She's not excited about the bit that goes up. But I've told her, once you get up over that, it's fine. There's nothing to it. Um, well, but not, it's still I mean, fast, but. I don't like, I'm scared of quite a little bit and not, because I don't like, you know when you're at the top, I don't like looking over. Yeah, yeah. Really but once you get over like that part, pull. it's okay. So we are, um, yeah, so we're planning to do that. While we do that. One, I'm probably gonna love it. If you're one like me, who has been on Space Mountain or Rock and Roller Coaster. Wait, it? Yeah, Rock and Roller Coaster, Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster. And since you've been on Space Mountain and Rock and Roller Coaster that you've been on before, you would like the Rock and Roller Coaster maybe and Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. So we're gonna do while we do, um, while we queue up for that, Charlie is gonna take Teddy over to the Simpsons area. And there's a small ride over there that he can go on. He can't go on the Simpsons ride, but he can go on a ride. Um, can't remember what it is. It's like one tooth, one fish, two fish. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, we're just, we parked right at the back this time. I think that's the bit annoying thing is that they still sort of direct you where to park. And like, people that have been here throughout the day have left, so you can't park closer. They still chuck you at the back. Okay, so we're just coming out of the park now. Uh, we managed to get on the Rip Ride Rocket uh, and Paige, uh, Charlie took Teddy onto the, it's an alien ride over by Simpsons um, for Teddy, so he enjoyed that. So Paige, how was the ride? It was good, it was, and it feels like you come out your seat when you go up and there's a bit there and when you go on it, I feel like it's the end, but it's not. You go down or you go sideways. Yeah, I think the problem with Paige is that because she's so short, she can't find, she can't see where, what bits are coming. So she doesn't know. I was in on row five. Who's in the fifth row. Um, but she enjoyed it. Oh yeah, she enjoyed it. What was your, what's your best one? Out of them, Velocicoaster or Smith Ride Rocket? Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster. Why, why is that? Because it's faster and you don't go up high, but I still like it. I don't know why. I don't know. I like Velocicoaster because it's fun and it's fast. Um, Rip Ride Rocket, I don't really have a reason why I like it. I just like it. So she went on it and she enjoyed it. So at least you've done it and you will do it again, right? Yes, she'll do it again. So we're now heading to Voodoo Donuts to get some dessert. Um, I might get, um, I think we're just gonna get, get some donuts because that's all they do. Um, Paige does want a slushy, but I think we might get that back at the hotel. I know um, we can get a large one there. She might have a bite of donut as well. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head to Voodoo Donuts. Okay, so we've just stopped off at Cold Stone, um, which is like an ice cream parlor at City Walk. So I went for a strawberry uh, milkshake. Paige went for, what was your one? Um, Oreo. What is it called? Uh, milk and Oreo cookies. So it's this one here. And then Charlie's gone for the biggest one of the lot. <laughs> but she is sharing with this little boy. Say hello. <laughs> uh, what did you get? Uh, Oreo Oreo. Oreo It's Oreo. the most creamy I've ever had. So what they do is they sort of, you go in there, you tell them what you want sort of thing. And then they have one of them like cold bar things where they mix it all up for you with the fresh like strawberries or Oreos or everything like that. So very nice. It did come to, for all those three, it came to $22, um, which is a bit on the pricey side, but it's not every every day you're doing it, so it's not too bad. So we're gonna head out of here now. It does seem to be getting quite busy here. So we're gonna head out of here now, and we're gonna go to um, go to the car and then go back to the room. So we'll catch up to you when we're back at the room and tell you about our plans for tomorrow, which Charlie is excited about. We're all very excited. Hi everyone, so we've just got back to our room. Um, yeah, we had a short little trip to Universal. So we managed to do Rip Ride Rocket, which was good. Um, we also got to try the, what was it called, Charles? Cold Brew? Cold Stone. Cold, Cold Stone, Stone Creamery, Creamery uh, which is the sort of ice cream parlor on City Walk. That was very, very nice. We had, uh, 
yeah, Charlie got the sort of the biggest ice cream they do, but she shared it with Teddy. He he loved it. Uh, we did get some shopping today at the Lake Winter Vista outlets. Um, got a few things in Calvin Klein, Levi's. Um, Paige got some tops in Nike as well. I got some trousers in Calvin Klein. Um, yeah, so it was quite. A, it was a restful day today. Uh, reason we was going to go Volcano Bay, but we decided against it. Tomorrow we've got a busy day. We are going to be using our Disney tickets tomorrow, our first one. Uh, we've got a 14 day t ticket at Disney, um, which starts tomorrow. And our first park will be Magic Kingdom. So we're looking forward to doing that. Uh, we're going to be getting up nice and early tomorrow and hopefully get in there for probably about quarter to nine, I would say. We're going to leave here latest by eight. Um, probably grab the kids something for breakfast and then we're gonna head our way, head, our, head over to Magic Kingdom uh, not sure how we'll get over there might be the monorail probably the monorail um, it's nice to get on that and hear the voice of you're now approaching the Magic Kingdom um, which everyone knows um, and that's it yeah so I think we're gonna try and spend most of the day there tomorrow weather permitting um, I think the weather's meant to be okay anyway but we're gonna go to try and do a few rides in the morning we're not gonna i don't think we're gonna purchase the genie plus or the lightning lane um we're gonna try not to um and then we're gonna watch the parade at 3 p.m because it's paid uh, teddy's not seen that before so we're gonna try and do that i'll show you guys that when that's on uh and that's it really so tomorrow's gonna be a busy day Magic Kingdom. Um, so I'll catch you all tomorrow. Uh, if you have liked the video, then please do give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then please do. Um, we're also on Instagram, which I'll put below uh, in the comments. If you do have any questions, as I've said before, regarding Orlando, um, if it's regarding a trip you're looking to book, if you've got any questions of anything to do out here then please do put in the comments and we'll reply to them um but that's it so that's going to end today's vlog i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you all tomorrow